Trump won a lot tonight. The second all these swing states decided to stop counting votes. This is an example of Trump's army. Why did they stop deciding to count? Because Trump had already won. I, well, we broke the algorithm because see how algorithms work is if they set the algorithm. So when Trump reaches 80% of the vote of one particular state, the algorithm, algorithm can stop that. But what happened is so many people started pouring in for Trump that it broke the algorithm, so they had to stop for the night. How baseless and conspiratorial their theories are. Newsmax actually had people do a research on it. You can find it on Newsmax. They did a research and said Trump truly got 410 electoral votes and actually flipped California. Wow. Yes, the always reliable Newsmax, whose investigative journalism is who we should be trusting to protect our democracy. I mean, that's what we want to believe. It feels good to believe that, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I want to believe the news that makes me feel good right? about the beliefs that I have. Right? And this is where the sarcasm comes in. Seriously, this is what Donald Trump has enabled and empowered. The illogical minds of America. Fox News is the home to misogyny, race baiting, Bill O'Reilly, Roger Ailes. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. Tucker Carlson. Shut up and dribble. Laura Ingram. I mean, just deplorable human beings. Yet, amazingly, there are even worse individuals who will say and do anything for political grandstanding and money. Newsmax has not called the election for Joe Biden. That's Chris Ruddy, the CEO of Trump Propaganda. I, I certainly would love to have Donald Trump on Newsmax a lot, whether he's president or not. I think he's great television ratings. Exactly. Like OAN, it's not about factual information. It's about pandering to the crazies, Trump's base to get viewership. That's all this is. He told you the game right out in the open, and he's going to do it again. Thus, Newsmax Media, a conservative multimedia company that includes a website and TV channel, has supported Donald Trump's claims of voter fraud and has seen a spike in ratings, with as many as 1.1 million people tuning in to its nightly broadcast. And why is Ruddy doing all this? In 1998, Ruddy founded Newsmax, which became known for its anti-Clinton content. In the Trump era, it served as a platform for Trump boosters like Diamond and Silk and Sean Spicer, because Newsmax does not send their best. When asked by the New Yorker if he felt any responsibility for President Donald Trump eroding faith in democracy by running with baseless voter fraud claims on his TV network, which Trump has encouraged his supporters to watch instead of Fox News, Ruddy went straight for the bottom line. At the end of the day, it's great for news, Ruddy said. The news cycle is red hot and Newsmax is getting one million people per minute, according to Nielsen, tuning into Newsmax TV, I think it's good. Ruddy is perhaps the purest embodiment of another classic television type, the revenue-minded cynic for whom the substance of programming is just a path to money and power, wrote the New York Times. But nobody I've ever covered treats an audience with the blith disdain of Mr. Ruddy. He has them watching a great story, a thriller, a whodunit, about a stolen election. He thinks they're stupid enough to fall for it, dumb enough to